Thompson. Hello, Hazel. Wipe off your feet and come on in. <laughs> well, give me your coat, honey. I'll tell Mr. B you're here. Mr. B! Yoo-hoo! Your sister's here. He's in the den. Really? The way you announced me, I thought he might be down in the South 40. Oh, you ain't kidding. <laughs> we don't need no end to come in this house, not with my lungs. My pop says I must have been born in a high wind. I don't imagine it was the other way around. Andrew! George! How's the new house coming? It's the most magnificent thing you've ever seen. Mr. Williams, he's the decorator we brought in from New York. You know, he did the apartment for the Duchess of... Yes, Dorothy told me all about it. He's doing each room around an object of art. Oh, come on along, Deidre. I know that Dorothy wants to hear all about it. She's out here in the workshop. Uh, w wait a minute, George. I, I think I must have dropped my handkerchief. If this ever has pups, I hope you give me one. almost 7.30. I'm starved. Oh, I bet Missy isn't. I bet she stopped and had a chocolate ice cream soda. We know a place where they got real gooey ones. I bet she stopped there. Hello, darling. Hi, dear. Hi. Oh, I feel Hi. like Sinbad the Sailor coming home with a boatload of treasure. Oh, George, I left my car in the driveway. Would you put it in the garage for me, dear? All right, but let me give you a hand with these things. Be careful of that big one, Hazel. It has, uh, it's crystal. It's very rare, very delicate crystal. Oh. Hi, Mother. Crystal, what for? <laughs> Go ahead, darling. Open it and look at it. Well, I'm hungry. Let's have dinner first. I don't want to open it now. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, is that something. Oh, boy. I bought it for Deirdre's new house. I ain't saying nothing against your sister, Mr. B. But you notice she didn't get Missy to decorate her new house. She got one of them snooty New York decorators. Hazel, I'm glad she did. That way we've avoided all kinds of family conflict. George, what are you looking for? I'm trying to find a sales slip. It's in my purse, George. I told them not to put a sales slip in the box. I'll show it to you, darling, after dinner. It cost that much? George, why don't you put the car in the garage, and I think I'll just go upstairs and freshen up a bit before dinner. All right. No, no, don't touch it. That's genuine crystal. It looks like glass. <laughs> a thing like that could cost 50 or 60 smackers. We would like thump it, see if it's any good. It's good. Let me try. Oh, no, no. And another thing expensive crystal does, if you sing a loud, clear note, it makes it ring. A fella named Caruso used to bust things that way. Now, don't you touch it, because i got to go fix dinner. I don't believe it. I've been working on the railroad. It didn't ring. <laughs> glory, glory, the way they used to. I busted it. I just don't think it's fair, that's all. Well, what isn't fair about it? Seems perfectly normal and logical to me. Hazel broke that base and now she wants to pay for it.